Patrick, a lot of great work coming out of Odyssey again this month, a couple of new Charybdis papers. We've talked a lot about, you know, the work we've done with COVID and, and, and vaccines, but this month, a legend paper came out, this one led by Ray Chen, and that's a topic we really haven't touched on uh, in this podcast, and that's been a big part of uh, the legend project of Odyssey over the last few years. Can you just touch on, on this work and, and its importance to the community? Yeah, thanks, Craig. Um, yeah, so legend is one of our strategic initiatives in Odyssey to generate large-scale evidence for problems that matter, and we've tackled uh, uh, hypertension as one of our key legend studies, and it's resulted in a series of clinical publications where we've examined the comparative safety and effectiveness of different hypertension treatments. And what we've learned is by generating evidence at scale, running systematic analysis across a large network of databases, that we can actually gain insights that have not previously been learned over the decades of clinical trials and prior observational work. In Ray's paper this month that just came out, we examined the effects of ACE inhibitors versus angiotensin receptin blockers. And while ACE inhibitors are a common first-line therapy for hypertension, what we showed is that ARBs actually are similar in terms of efficacy, but might be a little bit safer. And so this is an example of how large-scale evidence from observational data can potentially inform real clinical choices for patients um, with, a, with a key disease, and how LEGEND has now produced a series of these insights that we hope can inform clinical practice. When you talk about LEGEND and, and a lot of, you know, most of the observational research that's being done by the community, the foundation really is in that Hades package of, of, of tools that the community can use that's you know, developed by the community. And I know there was a great event this month to really increase the, the reliability and the functionality of it, the unit testathon, uh, three days in the middle of July. Can you talk about that event and, and, and what stood out about it? Yeah, it was a really exciting event to see take place. So Hades is our a series of open source software libraries that we've been created, that have been created that we use for pretty much all of our studies. And one of the core principles of software development is to do testing, validation that you know that the software does what it's supposed to do. And a key principle of software development is to run unit tests, which is basically writing code that tests the code. Uh, we have developed, uh, under Martin Shumi's leadership, we've developed a very robust set of packages. But what we recognize is that to even bring these tools to the next level, we need to increase our test coverage. And so Martin had a brilliant idea to bring the community together to have folks contribute to test, is, test cases so that we could actually increase the robustness of the entire Hades ecosystem. And so this last month, we had over 32 participants join the unit testathon to contribute to building up this maturity of our tool stack. And to give a frame of reference, there's 20 packages in the Hades ecosystem. Only six of them had test coverage of about 80%, which is really very mature, strong software. After these three days of working together, now 17 packages have a test coverage greater than 80%, really showing how um, bringing a rigor to our tools is going to improve the reproducibility and quality of the research for the entire community. So a tremendous grat of, uh, debt of gratitude to Martine and all of the participants of the unit's testathon this month. You know, when you talk, when you talk about, about community, community, one thing, one that, thing that, that you know excites, excites me about what's coming up is is all the work that will be showcased by the community in the collaborator showcase at the uh, 2021 symposium in September. Uh, I know the scientific review committee just got done, uh, you know, going over a record number of submissions. So, how excited are you about what's coming up in the collaborator showcase? And I know. Uh, some excitement as well. One of your favorite aspects of the symposium is the Titan Awards, and those nominations are out uh, just today. Yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun this month working with the Scientific Review Committee, reviewing over 115 submissions uh, to this year's 2021 symposium. And the, we, we conduct a scientific peer review to have um, provide constructive feedback, uh, but it's also an exciting time to get a sneak preview of all of the great stuff that's happening in the community. And so really excited now that the peer review is done, that we'll be able to send out uh, acceptance notices for those poster presentations, software demos, and lightning talks that will be featured at this year's symposium. And I know I can speak for the entire scientific review community and say we're really excited by some of the scientific innovation that's taken place and the contributions that have been made um, across the community. 
Um, and, and as we're talking about contributions to the community, I think one of the great ways that our community recognizes each other in the contributions that are made is through our Titan Awards. The Titan Awards are nominations from the community of other members of the community to highlight contributions that have been made uh, throughout the last uh, year. And so we just opened up nominations for the Titan Award, and we encourage everybody in the community to think about who, who you'd like to recognize this year with this special recognition. Yeah, those nominations are available on the forums, also on the Titan Awards page on odyssey.org. Nominations are open. Uh, the deadline is August 30th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So plenty of time, but don't wait too long. We want to make sure we get as many nominations as possible because it really has been an incredible year uh, within the Odyssey community. Uh, next time we do one of these, Patrick, it'll be a couple weeks away from the symposium. So a very exciting time and, and certainly looking forward to seeing what happens in August.